If you're at home and you don't have the banana leaves, I'm sorry, you're gonna call, go and get banana leaves, get your machete and just take a climb, okay? Hi, my name is uh, Carlos Raba. I'm from Clavel, chef and partner, and I'm gonna be making uh, tortas ahogadas. Tortas ahogadas is gonna be a drowned Mexican sandwich with a consomme tomate, uh, which is gonna be delicious, but we're gonna use in the middle uh, cochinita pibil. It's uh, a dish made from uh, pork, so the first thing that we're gonna have is gonna be our massive butt. Most of the time, I like to do even cuts, okay, and make sure where I put my knife. Some people boil it. I don't like boiling it. I like to put it on my, because it's a slow cook, it's uh, un cocido. I'm gonna leave it there for about five hours, so I'm gonna let it really tenderize with the ingredients of the, of the cochinita. And, and the ingredients play a, a big part on this because it's, you're gonna have the usual that is gonna be your vinegars, the, the softeners and your juices that soften the meat when you cook it. Cochinita pibil is from Yucatan, okay? Uh, Yucatan is, uh, is at the end of the little pepper in Mexico on the tail. The Mayan culture was from that side of Mexico, is the south and the center. They, have, they, they, they started using it, but they were doing it with boar, they were doing it with deer, but then the Spaniards came, back. And they say, no, we got pork. Uh, I'm gonna place it on a bowl, on two bowls, because it's too much. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a marinade for this, and I'm gonna let it sit. They also brought the uh, sour oranges. So sour oranges came from, from Spain, but right now we don't have it. Uh, we have Florida oranges that is sweet. So what do we do here to balance the taste and get a little similar, you do orange juice and your lime juice. Boom, boom, boom. We got our pork, so we're chopped up. Now we're gonna make the, the marinade. So what I'm gonna do with the achote, okay? It's a paste and it comes from the anato. They use this seed on uh, textile. It's gonna give you the, the color. Also, it has acidity on it. So we're gonna put our achote. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, achote can be used in, in fish, can be used in meat. We're gonna put our lime juice, our orange juice. Garlic. I'm gonna put our onion. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we're gonna put our salt. We're gonna blend them. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna marinate my pork on this. I'm gonna get my hands dirty a little bit, but that's life. Oh, now that I marinate my pork, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it sit on my counter to get room temperature. And then we're gonna wrap it up like a baby to put it on the oven. We're gonna put the baby in the bed, okay? So we gotta put the blankets. You're gonna find uh, banana leaves that they're gonna be frozen. And sometimes they can have mold on the inside. So all the time I, I make sure that I look at them. Uh, sometimes uh, I dry them, sometimes I make them uh, uh, nice and soaked. So I'm gonna do a cr crisscross trying to put the, the heavy ones on the side, trying to use the small ones for the side. At the corners, and I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in the in here, but uh, just take your time. If respect the animal, this is like Mexican muy delicioso pulled pork. Yeah, I use the liquid, okay, because the more moist it is, sometimes I feel the better you're gonna get your pulled pork. What I'm gonna do is just cut the orange and and put a couple of peels, so you have a little more of acidity on it, and then oregano. Oregano, mi tía will say, oh, no, no le pongas mucho oregano porque se te va a fidar. So don't put a lot of, of, of oregano because then it's, you can make it sour, okay? For every 10 pounds, por cada cinco kilos, una pizquita. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, and that's it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna follow a crisscross thing. So that's one. I'm gonna come with this one, two. Because remember, as you cook it, you don't wanna make it too complicated to open too because you wanna check it. God damn, how am I gonna do it again? I don't even remember. Make sure that you put foil. If you don't put foil, you're gonna burn your uh, banana leaves. I, I always poke a little bit of holes. So like, oh, why are you doing that? I don't know. My family would eat it like that. I do it like that. Don't judge me. And it's gonna take probably for about four hours. 100% of the time, cochinita pibil goes with cebolla curtida roja, okay? I just like white with the torta ahogada. So right now we're gonna make um, probably one onion for, for the whole thing. I'm gonna put lime juice, boom. Put salt, your vinegar. And with the hot water, the only thing you wanna do is that it covers your onions. I remember when I was little and going to my aunt's refrigerator and I will see a little bottle of yogurt and they're like, oh, hell yeah, I want a strawberry yogurt. And I open it, 
onions. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go and check on the pork. It's, it's falling apart, and yes it is. So you see that, that's fat, and that's just pure taste. So now that we know that it's done, it's ready just to get a little more crisp, I'm gonna put it back in, another 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, and, and we pull it back out. What I'm gonna do right now is gonna make the consomme, but it has to be spicy. Tomatoes, guajillos, I, um, seeds give you uh, bitterness, so I always, what I do, I, I clean them. And, and I take my time and I think about good deeds and bad deeds when I clean them. So take your time, talk to the peppers. I put the garlic and I put the rest of the stuff. So now that we have everything with the peppers, we turn it on. So now that we have the, uh, the bay leaves and the peppers, the only thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quarter my onion. I don't wanna blend it right away. I'm gonna let it sit. If you can, the, the, the more you let it sit, the better it's gonna taste, let the, those tomatoes plumb. So now that it's out, it's gonna be much plummy as you see it. We're gonna use the same water, do not discard the water. This water has taste, okay? And I'm gonna blend everything into my licuadora. So you have your tomatoes, your guajillos. So boom. This. Salt on it. Like, and reducing it. Some people do it two times, some people do it three times. Depends how thick you want it, how saltier you want it. And nothing, remember that nothing is waste, okay? It's not too thick, it's not too thin, it still has body. I have my consomme reducing. I'm up here, I got my teleras. I love teleras. Teleras, uh, you say the tortas started in Puebla, but they actually the bread uh, of the torta started with the French influence. I got my tomatoes. Tomatoes, it's a sandwich, okay? Avocado. I just wanna do a little tap on it, spin it. I wanna put it right here. Um, and also, I don't know if I'm gonna put mayonnaise, but I'm gonna warm up my bread from the inside, okay? Why from the inside? Because I want the outside to suck all the juice off my caldo. <laughs> but right now what I'm gonna do, because we're on the spot, I just wanna grab, and because it's so tender, you can do this too. You can just go, move it around, and get your servings. But what you wanna make sure is that you have the right amount of fat, the right amount of meats, because you don't want a torta with all fats off. So make sure you put all the ingredients, tomatoes. Put big chunks of avocado. Boom, boom, boom. Jalapenos. Your cochinita, but I'm gonna put the... And I, I'm not gonna be shy. Boom. I am gonna put cilantro. It's whole cilantro right there, okay? It gives the crunch, a different crunch of the lettuce. You put it on top. Now that I have my torta assembled, okay? Now I'm gonna drown it, okay? Plenty of this liquid, boom. What I'm gonna do right now is uh, crema, okay? I like cream, it's, it plays a good touch with the tomato. The last touch is gonna be the onions, your pickled onions. Like I said, you can do it in red, you can do it in white, but just make sure that you put them on top. And then you have plenty, because like I say, uh, a sandwich should say a story. It should, it should tell you how you're gonna eat a good torta. and I'm gonna enjoy it. Bread, avocado, onion. Al cien quedó esta madre. Muy rica. Spicy, you get crispiness from the pork. You get the acidity of the onion. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Click below in the recipe. Make it for your friends, make it for your mother, make it for your aunts. Enjoy it. That's what life for. Torta ahogada. Arriba Culiacán, Sinaloa. drowning it, I'm like submerging it into it. I don't, I want it to be soaked, it's ahogada, okay? Ahogada is drowned, so you gotta make sure that the, the, the baby is underwater. water.